In the previous video, we created the layout for the city view component. In this video, we're going to add a city to local storage to be able to view at a later time when revisiting the application. Now to add our city here to local storage, you want to enable this by clicking on this plus icon we have here inside of the navigation. Now in addition to doing that, we also want to remove the query string of preview here from the URL. So here inside of site navigation is where we're going to add the logic of adding a new city to local storage. So here on our plus icon, we need to add a few things. So first off, we're going to add a click handler here. And each time we click on this, we want to run our function to add the city to local storage. So the function we're going to create is going to be called add city. Then within the script, let's create this function. So we'll say cons add city and set this equal to a new arrow function. Now above our function of add city, we're going to create a new ref here to store all the cities that we have. And we'll call this variable saved cities and we'll set this equal to a new ref with the initial value of an empty array. And within this function, the first thing that we want to do is check local storage to see if we have any cities already saved. So we'll do an if check here and then we're going to reference local storage and then we'll use a method called get item. And the item we're going to be looking for is going to have a name of saved cities. So if this is true, that means we have city saved to local storage. So we want to retrieve them and then set them here to our variable of save cities. So we'll say saved cities dot value is going to equal. And then to actually take in the data from local storage, we need to parse it. So we're going to say JSON dot parse here, and then we're going to pass in local storage dot get item. And then again, saved cities. Now, after this if statement, the next thing that we want to do is create a new variable containing all the information for this location in which we're going to be adding to local storage. So below our if statement here, let's create a new variable and we'll call this location object and we'll set this equal to a new object here. Now, the first property that we're going to define is going to be a unique ID. Now, for this, we're going to need to install a NPM package called UID. So inside of our terminal here, we're going to say NPM I and then we'll say UID. And once that's installed, you can minimize the terminal here. And then to use it inside of our component, we need to import it. So right beneath our ref here, we'll create a new import. And then we'll say inside of our brackets here, UID and then from and then we'll do UID. Now to use this inside or to create a unique ID, I should say, we just want to call the method UID here and that'll create a unique ID for us. Now for the values of the additional properties here for our object, we're going to need to reference our view route here. So to do that, we need to import here inside of our components. So what we'll do is we'll create a new variable here called route and then we'll set equal to use route. And when we do this, it should automatically import it for us here. And inside of our object here, we're going to create a state property and then we're going to reference our route here and then the params and then we want to get the value of the state param. After state, we're also going to create a city property here and then we'll reference our route again and then we have our city param. So we'll say params and then do city. And then lastly here, we're going to create a new object for our chords. And then inside of here, we're going to create a property of lat and we can get reference to our latitude because we have that within a query string here. So instead of uh, referencing our params, we're going to reference the query. So we'll say route dot query and then we'll do lat and then we have our longitude so then we'll say route dot query dot lng and now that we have this object created we're going to want to push it onto this variable here that we have called save cities so beneath the object what we're going to do is we'll say save cities dot value and then we're going to say push and then we're going to push on this new object we have called location object then we want to update local storage with our new array containing this new object. So we'll reference local storage and we'll use a method called set item here. And then we want to specify the name here, which is going to be saved cities. And then we want to pass along this new array here. So to set an item to local storage, we first need to stringify it. So we'll say JSON here, then we'll use a method called stringify and then we'll pass in the value of our array. So we'll say save cities dot value. 
And the last thing we're going to need to do in this function is remove the query string of preview from the URL. So to do this, we're going to need to reference the router here inside of this component. So we'll create a variable and we'll call this router and then we'll set equal to use router here. And that should automatically import it for us here inside of this import statement. Then back here inside our function, the first thing we want to do is create a new variable and we're going to call this query and we'll set it equal to object dot assign here and then we want to pass along here an empty object and also the route dot query which is going to pass in all the queries for our route. Then what we want to do is you want to delete the query of preview so we can pass the delete keyword here and then we can say query dot preview. And then we can reference the router and then we can use a method called replace. And what we want to replace is all the queries. So we'll pass in some curly brackets here and then we're going to replace it with our query, which should have all the query strings minus the preview query that we deleted here. So now if we click on the plus icon here, this should get added to local storage. And as you can see, our banner disappears and inside of the URL, we no longer have that query of preview. And here inside of the console within the browser, if we do local storage dot get item and the save cities value, you can see we then have that item we just added. And lastly, once a city has been added to local storage, we don't want the ability for them to keep adding here this plus icon. So what we can do is a VF directive here and we can reference our route and we can say we only want to show this if the route dot query dot preview exists here. So when we add that, we should no longer see the plus icon here because the city has already been added to the application.